Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. The American Invitational Mathematics Examination, or AMI for short, is a qualifying test in America for the International Mathematical Olympiad. The test is three hours long and there are 15 questions. Calculators are not allowed. Every answer on the test is a whole number from 0 to 999 inclusive. Today's video is adapted from Problem 3 of the 2019 AMI. You have a triangle. We're going to cut off each corner of the triangle. We will do that by making straight line cuts where each endpoint of the line segment is a distance of 5 from a vertex of the triangle. We do this for each of the three vertices of the triangle. The remaining distances are equal to 5, 10, and 15. The question is what is the area of the hexagon that's shaded? I thank Assad for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? There are many ways to solve this problem, but I will illustrate one of the methods in this video. First, let's calculate the side lengths of the triangle. One side length is equal to 15, another side length is equal to 20, and the third side length is equal to 25. Now we notice that 15 squared plus 20 squared is equal to 25 squared. Therefore, this triangle is a right triangle, and the right angle is between the two sides that have lengths of 15 and 20. So let's draw a little more accurate version of this triangle. From here, we'll notice that this right triangle has sides in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. So it's a scaled up version of the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. We thus can use similar triangles to deduce the lengths of the altitudes of the two triangles in the corners. We can take this 3, 4, 5 right triangle to the right corner and see that the altitude is equal to 3. We'll take this to the top corner and we'll see that the altitude is equal to 4. We're now ready to solve this problem. The area of the hexagon will be equal to the area of the entire triangle minus the areas of the triangles in the three corners. But we know the base and the height of each of these triangles, so we can calculate each of these areas. The entire triangle has an area equal to 15 times 20 all over 2. This next triangle has an area that's equal to 5 times 5 over 2. Then the next area is equal to 5 times 3 over 2. And the final area is equal to 5 times 4 over 2. We can then carefully calculate each area. Then we simply need to do this subtraction, and we get that the area of the hexagon is equal to 120, and that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.